Hi, this is Diana Might. I'm at Bowling Green, and I am with the infamous High and Mighty team. Tell us a little bit about this wonderful car behind me, Bill. Well, this car was uh, originally built in uh, 1959, set a number of records at that point in time. It was built by the Chrysler Engineering Group called Ram Chargers, and it was the first of the Ram Charger cars. had numerous innovations at that point in time, including the intake manifold, which is a handmade tunnel ram, first of its kind, four-link coil spring suspension, first of its kind, and that's what helped it set all the records that it did. Well, you got your partner over here. I guess there's a whole team effort. Go ahead and introduce yourself and tell the audience a little bit about what your part is. Well, George Stanyak, I am repair. I, I do all the repairs on it, uh, mostly body work, putting it all together, built the four-link, um, chopped the top. Ooh. Well, that's hard. Did you, you have to do all the glass and stuff when you chop the top, right? Oh, we did plastic. plastic. Oh, that's a smart way to do yeah. it. Now, I know there's a lot of intricate details involved when you do a chop job. And you, you have the skills to do that, huh? Apparently. <laughs> there it is. Well, there's a little history involved with this whole team, right? Yes, a little is. back history. Yes, Bill, tell me a little bit about that. Well, uh, again, I mentioned earlier that it was built by the Chrysler, by a group of Chrysler engineers. What year? Uh, in 1959. Okay. 58 and 59. 59 is when it first came out to run, and that's when they started breaking records and uh, turning the drag race world on its ear at the point at that point in time. Now, what kind of motor did you say you're running in this thing? This is a 392 Chrysler Hemi. Ooh, Hemis. All of our viewers out there love Hemis. Nice big engines, go fast. Now, were you out here actually running the car? Uh, I guess you were driving it, Bill, right? How fast were you going? Well, we we didn't get a, any uh, real good runs today. We had a little bit of problem with the clutch and a little bit of problem with some water leakage. So uh, uh, we didn't do as well as we had hoped to do. Maybe better tomorrow. What does it normally do? It would run in the low 12s at 116 miles an hour. Okay, as I look here behind me, and, uh, you know, this isn't your typical type of car. Let's take a peek. Yeah, the wild side pipes, is it because you want to be noticed or what? Well, they're megaphones, and this is the first uh, uh, car that had them and has a unique sound. It helps scavenge the exhaust gases out of the engine. Scavenge the exhaust gases out of the engine. Well, I'll tell you, I've never in my years of being around drag strips, show cars, anything, ever seen anything quite like this. Uh, but, you know, it looks like y'all are having fun out here. It's a great place to be. Now, do you guys have anybody that's helping you along with this? Any sponsors, anybody you'd like to thank besides the team itself? We have a number of sponsors. Uh, Knights Auto did the machine work on the engine. Diamond Pistons donated a set of 12 and a half to one pistons to the engine. 